Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we'll be talking about uh, Salesforce, the very famous CRM. We will go through some pros and cons, I'll tell you more about uh, this product and uh, also we compare the pricing plans uh, to see if you are getting what you're paying for. So let's start by uh, explaining what is Salesforce. Salesforce is uh, somehow of a futuristic customer relationship uh, management software, bringing companies and their customers together. The integrated software helps uh, departments like commerce, marketing, sales and uh, service to get a unified view of each client. Moreover, companies can also leverage on the particular to deliver amazing shopping experiences to individual buyers, automate time-consuming jobs, assure quick uh, resolution to queries uh, raised from the customer's front and uh, strategize personalized marketing schemes. The solution serves organizations scattered across industries like uh, retail, automotive, higher education, public sector, media, communication, hospitality and transportation, non-profit and uh, more. With uh, Salesforce, organizations can get leverage, uh, sorry, advantage of joining the 150,000 and more like-minded companies, where they can find a massive community of experts ready to help in their company's growth. Besides offering an uh, estimate of their return on investment. Lastly, AI technology equipped uh, chatbot called uh, Einstein within the software helps companies uh, reassess past interactions with individual clients and better understand raised queries. What I really like about uh, the Salesforce is the design. It's really easy to read. We can say no to to lady in the chat room. And uh, it's very, very easy to work with. As you can see, we have uh, products what they're offering, what they have in their portfolio, customer 360, uh, more plugin like sales, service, marketing, commerce, analytic, integration with Slack, platform, work.com, health, safety, sustainability, and uh, partner ecosystem, but there are many more, I can promise you. Then, uh, we have also uh, how they are divided their portfolios by industry or the size of your uh, businesses. COVID-19 obviously rules, but in my opinion, it's time to jump in into the Salesforce itself. I've created uh, this free uh, trial just to show you how it looks from inside without uh, sharing any of my any of uh, my informations and details and data. So at the moment uh, when I'm recording this, uh, it's 10th of January 2022. So it's pretty up to date. Uh, they are providing 14 days uh, trial that you can get free, which is completely a perfect opportunity for you to find out if uh, you want to go with uh, Salesforce or you want to go with something else like, I don't know, maybe Pipedrive or or uh, uh, ClickUp Monday, it's up to you. Uh, but this one is about the Salesforce. What we have here? Obviously in home we have our workspace. Where are we going to see all uh, the pipelines, potential revenue source, as you can see today's task and today's event. Really nice way you can uh, micromanage every single one of them. You can see only your tasks or tasks for today, all overdue delegated tasks if you are in a position to delegate work for the others. Also today's event, uh, it's very nice. You can even integrate your own calendar if you are uh, using the Microsoft One or uh, Sheets or uh, whatever uh, your company is into. You can integrate it easily within the Salesforce, which is another outstanding option for you because Salesforce is so easy to integrate. 
with uh, basically anything mailchimp the mail providers call centers really really everything uh, you can use uh, for example zapier uh, for that matter then on the second one we have leads uh, we will go uh, through the leads uh, later in different videos and i'll show you how you can add a new leads how to uh, how you can micromanage the leads how you can uh, turn them into deals and uh, many many more cases then we have accounts in accounts uh, you can see you can always add a new account uh, for uh, for contacts and uh, you can also add them uh, to be um, you can add them a roles that you can play in your work field then the contacts very mandatory um, field for you in contacts you will be adding all the people you came across and you want to add into your salesforce accounts for uh for uh um yeah i mean <laughs> if you found a lead there should be a contact some ceo or some employee of the company easily you can add him you can add the email you can add um phone schedule meeting schedule dinner add a company to the contact and overall uh, basically do everything in this corner then opportunities as you can see they are providing us with uh, uh, some train ones so you can uh, basically um, see how the opportunity looks if we click in we see that uh, in what which state we are uh, at the moment for example opportunity owner opportunity name backpackers uh, and close date proposal price probability and all the other uh, stuff that they are here you can even see which ones you lost after proposal price you see there's a proposal was 50,000 negotiation review and then closed uh, you can uh, change it uh, to closed and one if you manage to close the deal then we have cases which we don't have any at the moment by but i'll add them later then tasks as you can see there are none uh, not even the training one but uh, uh, we can see that we can easily add a new uh, new task for people that uh, you want to about subject let's go with call related accounts related contacts and uh, many more then a uh, calendar that we spoke about uh, before for tracking all your uh, meetings your calls your uh, business dinners business lunches uh, reports and the dashboard this is pretty much it uh, in salesforce other than uh, you can go to your uh, setup and uh, in a different video i'll show you how you can set up the look of uh, the look of your salesforce but uh, what we are interested about are integrations and APIs in uh, many cases uh, it was uh, quite hard I don't want to import my data thank you I want to go to APIs which is not correctly working for some reason uh, when you want to make an integration between uh, Salesforce and anything else through Zapier often you'll be asked to add uh, you'll be asked to add the API. API stands for uh, multiple levels of authentication that the Salesforce account is yours. And you'll find it here once it works in API in integrations. Uh, you will have to just, uh, you will have to just uh, copy paste 
the amount or the the number and the code into the Zap, uh, the, into the Zapier field, and it works like um, your unique access to Salesforce account. Administration, we can see all the users here, but uh, permission sets. At the moment, we have uh, no uh, users, but I'll add them later in different videos so you guys can see how it's done. And what else is uh, interesting in here? Uh, I mean, it's really hard to squeeze everything in one beginner's uh, tutorial. I'll make a uh, couple like 20 videos how you can uh, do stuff around in uh, Salesforce with all the links that you'll be able just to go right through the matter that uh, you need the most or uh, to solve your problem. For example, how to create... Uh, uh, how to create um, add, um, people or employees into your account, then how to make uh, contacts, how to deal with opportunities, how to micromanage the leads, export the data, import the data, all this stuff that you are probably interested in. Uh, we will be covering in specific uh, videos. So until then, hopefully uh, I didn't scare you that it's not that uh, it's not that hard to work around uh, the Salesforce. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you have any more questions about these videos and about Salesforce itself, please leave it underneath this video. And uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.